Hey guys, welcome back to South of the River, episode 14. Uh, we're going to put a uh, heat shield up on there with the one inch spacing uh, up against the wall. Like I said, I'm leaving the heat shield that I put against the wall. That's that's fastened directly against the wall. It was getting pretty warm when I had fires. Um, so I'm adding a heat shield, just some regular, uh, I believe this is 29 gauge, uh, just regular uh, barn siding or steel roofing and i'm going to have a one inch gap behind that in between that steel and the steel that's on the wall so we're working off of a lantern i rolled up all my extension cords and everything and put all that stuff away so i got the lantern out here to give me a little bit of uh, light we're going to add this to that so that we don't have any issues with the the heat against the wall so here we go let's get some work done All right, so we got the steel all finished up. Uh, that came out nice. Uh, I ended up shutting the, my camera off because uh, I was just kind of in the way of the camera. So I just shut it off and finished it up, but it came out pretty good. I got that one inch gap between the new steel and the steel that I have on the wall. So that should give me a nice uh, barrier when I have a, the, the wood burner gone for that heat to deflect off there and keep the, the walls cool. And I'll show you that real quick. Here's the steel. Let me zoom out a bit. Uh, if I can, there we go. So here's the steel. You can see my spacers in here, I hope. There's my spacers right here. And I have those pretty much on every rip going down. And you can see how I have that one inch gap here and that goes all the way around with a one inch gap and i think it came out pretty good so that is finished i got the uh, the wall thimble uh cover plate i got that mounted to the wall so the wood burner is finished so that's good so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some underlayment down this is quarter inch thick just regular uh cdx plywood
Should have glued it down. Alright. I don't know if I should glue this stuff down. I only put a few nails around the perimeter. I'm thinking I should glue it down. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so, we're going to do a take two. I'm going to pull this stuff up. Good thing I only put a few nails around the outside. I'll be able to get, get them up. And uh, I'm going to glue these down because... Uh, I think I might have a couple spots where it's, where I might have a little uh, like air gap in between these and the three quarter plywood on the bottom. So I'm going to pull these up. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and glue that one down. That one's in position. The rest of these are good to go. Um, and then I'll pull these up and I'm going to glue them down. So let's, uh, let's do that. <laughs>
All right, so that one was uh, <clears throat> that one was a little tricky trying to get that cut in there. I didn't want to mess it up. If I messed it up, I I'd be short plywood. So uh, it came out pretty good. I'm a little wide here. This is going to be all trimmed out though with uh, cedar all the way around the blocks. So that came out really nice. So it's coming along pretty good. I got all these sheets in. I just got to do that piece there. That's a four footer or a four footer. Uh, another four footer here with a cutout and then two small pieces. And I have one, I have one full sheet left and that will be done. So yeah, coming along good. All right, let's get these last couple pieces in and uh, we're going to call it Call it quits. All right, here we go. Hey guys, we got all the quarter inch ply on the floor. It's the next day, sorry. And uh, we got a lot of rain, heavy overcast, so I got the lantern out here again. So I got everything cleaned up, uh, put up in the loft, just kind of out of out of the way, everything off the floor. Decided to do something other than putting down laminate flooring. Um, this probably cost a couple hundred dollars to do that. So uh, we decided to, with this quarter inch ply on here, it's unsanded CDX. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it a uh, forest green color. Um, this is a, this here is a porch and floor. It's by Ace Hardware, porch and floor. Uh, blah, 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 acrylic latex. Um, and this stuff, I guess is pretty durable. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it and find out how it goes. So, uh, with this product, it's uh, you're not supposed to just put it down. Uh, you need to put a primer down. So what they say to do is to use this paint as a primer. And what you do is you take uh, every per gallon of this paint, you're supposed to use a pint of water and mix those together. So I bought one gallon. I thought one gallon would be enough. I might have to buy a second one now that I know I have to mix water with it. Um, but I'm gonna do half a gallon of this uh, deck porch and floor paint, half a gallon with uh, one cup of water. I'm gonna mix that together and we're gonna put that on the floor. I'll trim out all my edges with the paintbrush and then I'll roll it out on the floor. And what's that supposed to do? It's just supposed to thin it out enough so that it absorbs into the wood. As long as you don't already have something down on the, the wood, uh, that's what you're supposed to do. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a half a gallon, mix it with one cup of water and then the other half gallon once that dries it goes directly on top of that and hopefully the one gallon is enough so let's mix a half gallon of this and trim out the edges and put the uh, the primer down so let's do that
All right, we got the uh, first coat on, the primer coat. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna, after this dries, I'm gonna come in here with a paintbrush and I'm gonna fill in all the, uh, the knot holes and stuff like that. And then we'll put the final coat on there. So either tonight or tomorrow, we'll do that. So, all right, we'll wait till this thing dries and then we'll get stuck working again, all right. Morning guys, we are back out here today. And we got that first coat down yesterday, the primer coat on the floor and we're going to it's all dry and uh, we're going to go ahead and put the second coat on uh, I'm going to take a brush I'm going to trim out my corners or my edges and then I'm going to go around and hit all the knots and the screw holes so we're going to get that done I'll show you real quick what the dried first coat looks like and like I said I might have to get another uh, another gallon we'll see um, yesterday was really nice. It was like in the 60s and then it dropped down. Uh, it's like 34 or 35 degrees today. So it's chilly. Uh, so hopefully this stuff dries okay. Um, and that's it. So let's go ahead and put this down. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to uh, get it done and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. So, yep. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get this uh, second coat down. All right, that took all but 20 minutes. So, can't go in, floor's wet. But uh, the second coat came out pretty good. And actually I have enough left to do one more coat. So we're gonna let this dry for a couple days because it's not, it's not the perfect uh, painting, whether it's cold. Um, so we're gonna let that dry. Today's Thursday, I'll let it dry till Saturday and then I'm gonna check it. And then uh, maybe get that second coat on, and and then it'll be uh, uh, finished trim time. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'm it's getting too long. So that's the second coat. It looks really good. I might have to put a third on. Uh, so the next video that comes out is gonna be finalizing the trim. I got some small pieces and my baseboard that I ripped down already. I got to put that up there or on the bottom of the walls and uh, where it meets the floor get that finished that won't take but a couple hours to do that um, I do have some odds and ends outside to do but on the inside as soon as that paint is dry and I finish up that trim which will be on the next video for the trim the inside will be finished and we'll be moving some stuff in there so one more video uh, to finish the inside and then uh, maybe one more because I got to do uh, a little bit of metal work on the outside here I'll show you that real quick um, on this bottom my bottom plate here that my uh, my floor system sits on I want to cover that with trim I have it I just got to put it up so I just need to cover that up it's not a big deal those are treated they'll be fine but I want to put a piece of green metal all the way across this the back of that just to cover it up so the rain doesn't hit it and also put a front gutter on with a downspout all right so that'll be it for the uh, the video guys um, I hope you guys liked the video hopefully it wasn't too long and bored you um, so I'm going to call it quits and uh, that's it. Like it, subscribe it, all stay safe, all stay healthy and I'll see you guys on the next video and we'll get some more work done. Alright, thanks a lot.